Steals in your meme channel here. The internet's worst f***ing commentator. And it's time for a review of the new Jake Paul album, Litmus. Now before you complain, I am not trying to be the needle drop here. This is just a joke. I'm making references to him only. I'm not changing my content in any way to look like his. I'm not becoming a music reviewer. I'm just using this as a fun way to cash in on Jake Paul. But this is not going to be a track by track review because I feel like that would be a disservice to both you and me. More so for me because <sighs> this is bad. Jake Paul is a former Viner and former cast member of Disney Channel's Bizarre Vark. And after his many, many songs released on YouTube and Spotify, he has finally gifted us with an album, you guessed it, for Christmas. And I hope there's a receipt, because <laughs> because I want to return it. <laughs> oh, well, that's not funny. <laughs> Look, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna cut to the chase here. It's not good. Okay, so let's just let's just tackle the production of this thing first. Every song is a trap style rap song, kind of the popular format now, that is somehow based around money and women, and also Christmas. And every song is a Christmas song. Well, obviously, I mean, duh, it's a Christmas album, but, I mean, they're based on other Christmas songs. Here's a list of all the songs on the album, in order, paired with the songs that they use for their instrumental. There are no original compositions on this album, besides the track It's Christmas Day Bro, which is a second remake of Jake Paul's very well known and very well memed It's Everyday Bro. It's Everyday Bro with the Disney Channel flow. I mean, there's not really much else to, to, to say to describe it. I mean, I can't really say I expected anything special from Jake Paul on this project. I mean, I didn't really expect anything good, uh, is what I'm trying to say. I mean, every song is based around another song, which is not illegal, but I feel like it shows his lack of creativity. I mean, about the Christmas Carols, I'm more okay with that than the fact that he decided to remake It's Every Day Bro a third time. I mean, the flow is identical, which is obviously expected considering on It's Every Day Bro, the remix featuring Gucci Mane, it was the same thing, and the lyrics to the song are literally just adjusted to be about Christmas. Even the Yeah, I Smell Good line from Tessa Brooks made it in. A lot of the lyrics and a lot of the setups for specific lines were just copied and pasted from It's Every Day Bro into It's Christmas Day Bro. I mean, the line reads, Yeah, I smell good. Is that Christmas tree cologne? But like I said earlier on the lyrics, um, all they talk about is money and women and somehow tie that back into Christmas. He also constantly talks about his merch. I mean, there's a song literally dedicated to buying merch. And I think fan, I think Fanjoy, whatever, I think that's the name of the site that has his merch. I mean, it's called Fanjoy to the World. That's the name of the song. And he literally just pressures people into buying his merch for Christmas. And I mean, I would call him a sellout. But it's not like he's changing in any way for money. He's always been like this. So I'll just say for right now, stereotypical greedy YouTuber. I mean, I don't blame him. He's stacked and he wants more. But honesty does not make this album any different than any other rap album. And the Christmas theme doesn't make it any different either because I'm pretty sure that it has been done before in a rap song. And I'm talking about a Christmas theme, you know. Like, they use a Christmas instrumental in the background, and, and not necessarily about Christmas, but you get the wintry feel of the song. But the most irritating part of this album for me was hearing Jake Paul's attempt at singing. I, I can't even describe it. I mean, who can't sing 12 Days of Christmas? Obviously not Jake Paul, especially not with autotune. I mean, there are points when the auto-tune puts his voice out of tune with the notes that are playing. So basically, it just sounds like he has no idea what he's doing, and he just added the auto-tune as a rap music trope 
that uh, as a popular rap music trope that goes around and everybody uses auto tune now so I'm going to do it too when I don't need it and I can clearly sing the melody probably fine without it but he decided to put it in there and it's it's not it doesn't sound good like this is not a subjective no it, the notes aren't in tune and it does not sound good you can also hear a similar bad version of this auto tune on the song deck the halls also there are lines that just make me think why would he even say that like the line about his parents being divorced so he gets them separate lists so they don't get him the same thing i just feel a lot of this album was unnecessary i mean it just it felt in a way it felt overdone and half done at the same time with the auto-tune being overzealous and going all over the place and then him not really having any creativity as far as the instrumentals go besides the fact that you turned Christmas songs into a trap song that's that's the only thing and you reused another you reused an old song of yours that you have a reputation for I mean there's there's not really much going on there. Uh, uh, uh. It just seems like a cheap way to cash in on the fact that his fans like any and everything that he does. They buy his merch, listen to his music, and watch his stupid vlogs. And to think that this is the culmination, this album is the culmination of the hard work that he has put in on this, it, it seems like a bit of a disappointment. I mean, how hard did you really work on it? Uh, you know, it, To say that this is the end of some, you know, the end of some hard work that you did, you know, it seems far-fetched. I'm thinking a strong negative four to a light negative five. Trans. Gender. Yeah, guys, this was just a joke. I love the needle drop. I love his videos. I think he's awesome. Um, so for the record, I am in no way, shape, or form claiming that this is my format, like at all. Just, just throwing that out there. But yeah, guys, uh, what would you rate this album? Um... Tell me in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video.